Breaking news at 8 tonight. Right now, a heavy police presence at a home in Maine as the search for a gunman continues. We're live with the very latest. Good evening. I'm Christine Johnson. These breaking developments all happening within the last 30 minutes. Let's take a look at some live pictures from outside of a home in the town of Bowdoin. It's happening about 24 hours after 18 people were killed in shootings at a bowling alley and a restaurant in Lewiston. CBS 2's Mike Sullivan is live now in Lewiston with the very latest. Mike? As you mentioned, that heavy police presence in Bowdoin, that's about 15 miles away from where we are at Central Maine Medical Center here in Lewiston. I'm told the FBI and the ATF are working a home believed to be connected to the suspect. We have an active shooter. We have multiple injuries. The first shooting took place just before 7 p.m. at the bowling alley where six males and one female were shot to death. We have a second one. Second active shooter is Wangie. Police were sent to the restaurant about 10 minutes later where eight males were killed. Police released these photos of the suspect walking into the bowling alley with an AR style weapon. Military officials say the Army Reserve Sergeant was admitted to a psychiatric hospital this summer after exhibiting erratic behavior and threat to kill fellow soldiers. Investigators recovered this car registered to Card, abandoned near a boat launch in a nearby town. He also owns a boat and a motorcycle. This is a dark day for me. This attack strikes at the very heart of who we are and the values we hold dear for this precious place we call home. So far, the shooter's motive is unknown. As of this morning, there are still at least eight people recovering here at Central Maine Medical Center. Their families have been sheltered in place in their homes under rules. And some of them have been struggled to get here to identify any of their family that may be injured inside. In Lewiston, I'm Mike Sullivan. Back to you, Christine. Mike, thank you.